For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the maximum value of deflection for the simply supported beam using the method of three moment equation. Step number one, draw the possible shape of the elastic curve of the beam. Alam na natin na kapag meron tayong simply supported beam, having a uniformly distributed load all throughout the span of the beam ay nasa gitna yung maximum deflection due to symmetry. I-denote natin na point C yung mid-span ng beam at yung maximum deflection ng beam ay mag occur sa point C. Step number 2. Establish points on each successive support and at the point on the beam where the deflection is desired. I-take natin yung support sa point A as point 1, then yung point C as point 2, dahil maximum deflection yung hinahanap natin at yung maximum deflection ay mag occur sa point C. And last, yung support sa point B as point 3. Step number 3. Draw a horizontal line that will pass through the tangent line on the elastic curve at the middle point. Sa ating beam, meron tayong point 1, 2, 3. At yung middle point natin is yung point 2 or yung point C. Magdrawing tayo ng horizontal line sa elastic curve under point C. Then set H for each point at both ends of the three successive points. I-denote natin na H1 yung distance ng elastic curve sa point A at ng horizontal line na drawing natin sa point 2. Para naman sa part ng point 3, i-denote natin yung height as H3. At yung distance ng point C from the original point of the beam up to the elastic curve is equal to the deflection at point C. At kung mapapansin natin, H1 is equal to H3 is equal to the deflection at point C. Step number 4. Apply the 3 moment equation. By taking segment 1, 2, 3 and applying 3 moment equation, the moment equation for segment 1, 2, 3 is equal to M1, L1 plus 2, M2, L1 plus L2 plus M3, L2 plus 6A bar A over L1 plus 6A bar B over L2 is equal to 6EI multiplied by H1 over L1 plus H3 over L2. I-define natin yung bawat variable na nasa equation. M1, M2, and M3 are the moments at point 1, point 2, and point 3 respectively. L1 is the distance from point 1 to point 2. And the value of L1 is equal to L over 2. And L2 is the distance from point 2 to point 3. And the value of L2 is also equal to L over 2. Yung value ng 6A bar A over L1 and 6A bar B over L2 ay compute using the formula depende sa load ng beam. Yung H1 and H3 ay na-explain ko na kanina. For point 1 and point 3, alam natin na yung value ng moment sa point na yan is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of M1 and M3 is equal to 0. Yung value ng moment na kailangan natin makuha is yung value ng M2. By taking segment 1, 2, lilito ngayon yung internal moment sa point 2. The value of RA is equal to WL over 2. Hindi na natin naipakita yung pagkuha ng value ng RA sa problem na to, pero naipakita ko na siya sa previous problem na simply supported beam din having uniformly distributed load. By taking the summation of all moment at point 2 is equal to 0, and taking all clockwise rotation as positive, Kunin natin muna yung moment ng RA sa point 2, equal yon sa WL over 2 times moment arm L over 2, minus yung moment ng uniformly distributed load, equal yon sa W multiplied by L over 2, eto pa lang yung load, at yung moment arm niya na equal sa L over 4. Minus M2 kasi counterclockwise is equal to 0. M2 is equal to WL squared over 4, minus WL squared over 8. And the value of M2 is equal to WL squared over 8. Yung 6A bar A over L1 is for segment 1 to 2, and yung 6A bar B over L2 is for segment 2 to 3. Yung load natin for segment 1 to 2 is uniformly distributed load, kaya ang gagamitin natin na formula for 6A bar A over L1 is WL cube over 4. Yung load natin for segment 2 to 3 is also uniformly distributed load. 
Kaya yung gagamitin natin na formula for 6a bar b over L2 is equal to WL cube over 4. I-substitute na natin ngayon yung mga value sa 3-moment equation. 2m2 is equal to WL squared over 8. Yung value ng L1 is equal to L over 2 and value ng L2 is equal to L over 2. Therefore, L1 plus L2 is equal to L plus 6a bar a over L1. Ang formula na gagamitin natin is WL cube over 4. Take note, ang i-consider lang natin dito is yung load and distance from point 1 to point 2. WL, ang distance natin from point 1 to point 2 is equal to L over 2, cube over 4, plus 6a bar b over L2. Again, ang i-consider lang natin dito is yung load and distance from point 2 to point 3. Plus W, then yung distance from point 2 to point 3 is equal to L over 2, cube over 4. Is equal to 6EI, yung value ng H1 and H3 is equal to the deflection at point C. L1 is equal to L over 2, plus H3, equal yun sa deflection sa point C, over L2 is equal to L over 2. By simplifying, WL cube over 4 plus WL cube over 32 plus WL cube over 32 is equal to 24 EI deflection at point C over L. And the value of deflection at point C is equal to 5 WL to the fourth over 384 EI.